Hello there. In today's video, we're going to be looking at what, in my experience, the three most common mistakes are when Chinese people speak English. I myself have lived in China. I've worked in China. All of my colleagues at the moment are Chinese and I've got lots of Chinese friends. I've got many years experience of speaking to Chinese people, both in Mandarin, but also in English. And so these are some of the mistakes I commonly hear. And in this way, if you can improve on these mistakes, that will make a huge difference to your English speaking ability. I just want to add before I start the video, I myself know how difficult it is to learn another language, especially one that is so different from your mother tongue, which English is from Chinese and vice versa. I myself have been learning Chinese for seven years and mine is nowhere near close to being perfect. But as I've met, lots of Chinese students. I know they've got a lot of determination to always improve. So this video is sent with admiration and encouragement. It's not meant as any criticism. So I hope that you enjoy it. Okay, let's get into it. So the first mistake that I commonly hear is gender. In Chinese, you say ta for he and you say ta for she. So it's very understandable to see how you may make the mistake when you're translating to English between calling a man she and calling a female he. So for example, if you're referring to a girl, you may say he went to the shops. However, it should be she went to the shops. Now in English, if a native English person were to say this, it would sound very strange to us. Obviously, gender is something that you can very clearly see. So when we talk about somebody, very rarely do we get it wrong in terms of their gender. So when you say he and you mean she, we notice it very easily. We notice it as a mistake. Now, obviously, we understand that you're a non-native language learner, and so that's absolutely fine. But if you want to improve your English in a very effective way, if you could focus on this to make sure that you always say he for male and she for female, then that would be absolutely great. Okay, so this one is a pronunciation error that I notice a lot in Chinese people. So if I give you an example of a word, the word is usually. Now often when I hear Chinese pronounce it, they say yuli or yuli. Okay, so they don't pronounce the zh. Now, I understand that this noise isn't necessarily common in Chinese language. And so when you say a word, it's difficult for your mouth to say that noise. It's similar for me as an English person when I say the color green in Chinese. Lu si. In English, we don't have this yu noise. And so it's more difficult for me to say it. And I think that's the case for when Chinese people say usually. They instead say yuli. So what I want you to do now, right now, if you can do, is practice this noise. I want you to say it 10 times. So it may sound strange when you do it like that, but that's going to improve the way you say the word usually. If you're struggling with that noise, what I want you to imagine is when you have your phone on silent and somebody gives you a call, it goes So the third mistake that I often hear is how Chinese English learners use the word welcome. Frequently saying welcome in response to a thank you. So the situation may be like this. An English person says thank you to you and the Chinese person responds welcome. This however is incorrect. If you are responding to a message of thanks then it's absolutely vital that you say you are welcome. If you solely say the word welcome, this doesn't make sense. Okay.